All right, so here's a list of the parts that you're gonna need. Our four and a half pound uh, striker spring, the safety plunger spring, the reduced power one that we got, our Ghost 3.5 connector. Hopefully you got your Glock tool and then a couple extra parts and pieces here. This is the six pound trigger spring for those that bought the full kit. We'll go through how to install that. Uh, I've got a fine, very fine file here. There's an area where we can file. It's up to you if you wanna do it, we'll go over it. Got my Dremel with buffing pad. Here's a couple different buffing pads and my polish for those areas that we're gonna buff. I'll go over that. And then I have a uh, universal bench block, but if you've got a roll of 100 mile an hour tape or duct tape or carpet tape, whatever, it'll work just as well. All right, so first thing that we need to do is we've got to take our Glock apart. So let's knock that out. All right, so taking the Glock apart, first thing, obviously, is we'll make sure there's no magazine. Look down through the slide, make sure that we see daylight. Check the barrel, make sure there's no round in there. And then, of course, just for good measure, just rack it a few times. Point it in a safe direction. Go ahead and drop the hammer. Um, our slide stops. To pull the slide off, we want to pull the slide back about a quarter of an inch. Pull down on the slide stops. Let the slide go forward. Give it a little push. Let up on the slide stops slide comes off. Go ahead and set that aside for right now. Let's go ahead and take apart the frame. All right, it's pretty simple. Uh, we've got three pins and they, all three are different so you can't really mess it up and there's really no specific order that you need to take them out or put them back in. Um, and so I'll just go through the preference on how I do it. Uh, the uh, trigger mechanism housing pin is the first one that I usually drop out. And if your Glock is fairly new, some of the pins might be a little bit tight, but first one there and then I just like to do the locking block pin next. That one out of there. And then for the uh, trigger pin, sometimes it'll pop right out. There you go. If it doesn't, just wiggle the uh, slide stop lever a little bit. That is held by that trigger pin, so sometimes it can hang it up. All right, next thing that I like to do, get those pins accounted for out of the way. <clears throat> All right, so here's the guts of it. Here's our uh, trigger bar, trigger, locking block, um, our, our connector, everything's down in here. We're going to pull all this out. It comes out pretty simple. All you need to do is, is take your, your Glock tool and lift up on the locking block a little bit and pull that out. Sometimes it comes right out. Sometimes it's a little tight. All right, so we got the locking block out. Now our slide stop will come right out. And then pull up on the extractor and the whole trigger mechanism comes out. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not much else to the frame. A um, couple other little things that you can take out, but for this, we don't need to mess with it. So that's as far as we're going right there. Okay, trigger mechanism. Uh, let's flip that bad boy over. You look, here's our trigger, trigger bar. Here's our connector. All right, this is one of the first things that we're going to change out. So the only trick to this is it's held by the trigger spring in there and there's a couple little grooves inside the uh, trigger mechanism housing here to get this off we're going to pull forward on the trigger trigger bar assembly to slide it forward against you know with that with the trigger spring there and then you're going to rotate it towards itself or toward, you know away from you that gets the very edge of the trigger bar out of the housing this little slot down in there and then you just kind of pull up and that's it there's just the trigger spring that holds it in there now make sure you take note uh, of the orientation of the trigger spring because you need to make sure that that goes in the right direction all right so we're going to pull this all apart that comes off let's go ahead and take the trigger spring off for those that bought the full kit and want to go ahead and replace that there's the stock one okay and then here's our connector all right so the connector sometimes you can just get a fingernail under there and work it out if not just flip it over and your glock tool will fit right into there kind of start to push it push it out a little bit well there it goes all the way all right if not you can work it out a little and then just pull it up with your finger but that's the connector right there the stock connector so let's go ahead and put that to the side that to the side we are changing out so let's take our new uh, ghost edge 3.5 connector now this is one of the first areas that you want to go ahead um, and buff so let's go over that too as we're here grab my mother's just throw a tiny bit on a q-tip 
okay and if you look the way that this rides in there all right when we are pulling the trigger this trigger bar is riding along that groove that that edge right there so the first place that we're going to go ahead and buff out is right just that right there on the connector okay so grab that grab our dremel with our buffing pad on there remember don't use a sanding pad it's just a soft spongy uh, buffing pad about half power Just hit that area to smooth it up. All right, that's it. Let's go ahead and just wipe the excess polish off. All right, now we can throw that in trigger uh, mechanism housing and then the other area that we're going to buff is on the trigger bar so like I said when this is together that's metal on metal that's rubbing so if you take your trigger and trigger bar and let's go ahead and just flip it over all right so this underside right here where it's going to rub uh, you get there's a little bit of oil on there get that off okay so this is another area that we're going to buff so put a little bit of polish right on the inside okay if you can see the underside of it right where it would rub on the connector we'll hit that and then here's the other area the very top of the trigger bar okay this is where your striker all right or the firing pin is going to rub so just down the center of this right here get some polish on there let's hit it with the dremel again about half speed on the dremel and i'm really not putting any pressure just letting the wheel do its work All right, and then hit the center. All right, let's wipe the excess off. Okay, so those areas, metal on metal contact, metal on metal contact. All right, now here's another area that we're going to look at real quick. So our safety, okay, the safety on the trigger, the safety plunger, that is on the underside of the slide okay right there uh, when we engage the safety on the trigger the trigger starts to come up it's this top this this little bump on the uh, trigger bar is what rides along the top of our safety plunger right here okay this is can be fairly rough it's just uh, stamped out metal so if you if you feel across yours and, and see how it feels you may feel some edging you may it may feel a little bit rough this is one area if you want to this is totally up to you I did mine um, if you take a just a fine this is just a fine file uh, you can pick them up at any hardware store but just just making some some movements over that okay and just you're just slightly smoothing that out a little bit with the file all right taking off any rough edges just to smooth out the trigger just a little bit more all right and when you buy a competition trigger a complete one all done up i mean it's pretty much what they've done they've they've polished all this stuff they've they've sanded areas down made it super smooth and and probably coated it also um with with some special coating just to make it even more smooth but hit that with a little bit of uh polish and get our Dremel about half power. And just hit the top of that where it's going to ride along that plunger, the safety plunger. All right, nice and smooth. Then one other area that you can do, it's probably not necessary. Um, I just felt like I still had some, uh, some roughness on the trigger as, as, as I was pulling back on it. Um, the side of the trigger bar, it rides alongside the frame uh, right through here. Now, it's not supposed to make any contact in there, uh, but to me, it just kind of felt like it was hanging up a little bit in there, so can't hurt, right? We're already here. We're already doing the polishing, so go ahead and I'm going to hit the side of this.
Just make it all nice and smooth. All right, let's get all the excess polish off. And then we'll put this back together. All right, everything's good and shiny. Okay, let's take our, if you bought the new one, the new trigger spring. All right, this is one area to look at. You've got to make sure that this spring goes in the right way. Okay, with the weapon facing to my right, the trigger spring is going to form an S. There's an opening up top and an opening down below. All right, so just look at it as it forms an S, because as this would go into the lower, that's how you want this spring to be. All right, so when I place this spring in, it goes into the trigger housing mechanism, and I'm going down into that area and hooking the spring. Okay, and then to hook the trigger bar, it's easiest if you kind of do it on the side. All right, so now that's hooked up. Okay, everything's back hooked up. Now to put it back in is the reverse of how we took it out. What we want to do is pull forward again, turn out so that we get this little uh, edge of the trigger bar that sticks out into the channel, that channel that's right there. All right, of course you want to fall apart on me. All right, so pull forward, turn it, go ahead and get that where it needs to be, okay, and it slides in there. And it will be, it's not perfect. It'll get all snugged up when it goes back into the frame. All right, but that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to, an area that is an oiling point, you can do it now if you want to, can't hurt, but you could take and just drop a tiny bit of oil right there on the connector where the connector and the trigger bar make contact. All right, just tiniest little bit. All right, so that's back together gonna throw it back into the frame I put the trigger in its little area first and then go ahead and seat the trigger housing in okay that's down in there triggers in there now I'll go ahead and put my um, trigger mechanism housing pin back in all right and you can do this however you want I normally just found putting my pins in the way they came out works out fairly well for me all right next thing we want to do is take our locking block and put the locking block in okay and then take our locking block pin and put that in all right now i like to do that first before i put my my uh, slide stop in because this spring on the slide stop needs to be underneath that locking block pin. So as long as all that's in, we just slide this right between the trigger and the um, underneath the locking block. It goes into its spot on the side and then you can look through the hole to see everything's lined up. Now this one for sure, I always have better look when I come in from the other side. It gets the trigger, everything lined up and then I can see the uh, slide stop is lined up and it pops right in, no problem. All right, so there we go. That is replacing that on the uh, frame. Now let's go ahead and get to the slide. All right, all we're gonna do is remove our recoil spring. Okay, remove our barrel, simple, simple. Now, to get to here, first thing we have to do is we need to lift up on our uh, firing pin or striker. We lift up on it, we can see the, uh, what I call a striker sleeve right here, this little black sleeve. That's under spring tension is what's holding our slide cover on. So take our Glock tool, come underneath the striker and push down on that sleeve. It releases the tension, so now we can take the slide cover off. And again, there's a little spring tension there, so keep your finger over it. Okay, when I pull that, off now you can see here's the sleeve right here that mates up with the back side of our slide cover all right so we can go ahead and lift that out so we're going to change that spring out 
And then we are gonna change our safety plunger spring so we can take the safety plunger out. And to take our safety plunger out, we just push it in a little bit and the extractor will just roll out of the way. Okay, and then our safety plunger comes out with its spring. All right, and there's that tiny little spring. So uh, let's go ahead and do our um, four and a half pound striker spring. Easiest way to do this is to take and reverse your uh, firing pin, put it back into the channel sideways. So the edge of the striker is on the, the edge of the uh, slide there. That way we can compress this spring to get these spring cups off. All right, there's two cups that hold this on. Get both of those off. Okay, and then hold your spring. Okay, there is the stock spring. Here is our four and a half pound spring. Okay, slide that back on. Compress it down. And then I usually will put one of the cups on first and you can't mess this up. You can tell the, the cups are narrower at one end than they are the other. So the narrow end is gonna go down into the spring the one side on, hold on to it, and then go ahead and get the other side on. All right, and that's it. Simple. All right, here's one other area that you can buff if you want to. Again, I just like to hit these areas. If I'm gonna buff one piece of metal, I wanna hit the other, because wherever we have metal on metal contact, you might as well do both instead of only doing one side. So, uh, this is where I told you when we buffed that channel down the center of the trigger bar, okay, that's where that piece on the striker is rubbing against. So we buff that out, might as well buff that too. Okay, that is done. Next, we need to do our reduced power safety plunger spring. Okay, here is our plunger. Now, again, we buff the top of this, uh, the safety catch here on the trigger bar because it makes contact with the top of this buffer. So same thing, let's throw a little polish on there. And let's hit that too. Take our new spring. Okay, there is the new one. There is the stock one. You can tell a little bit just by trying to compress them and they're a different color. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and place that back into its home. All right, that goes in there. Compress it a little bit so that we can put our extractor back in and this will only go in one way also, can't mess that up. All right, now we can take our extractor uh, plunger, metal side down first, that goes in there. Take our striker, that goes down into its channel. Okay, now we need to get the our slide plate cover back on. All you need to do is just compress that uh, sleeve again. You can either do it with your hand or do it with a tool, but we want to get that facing the right way. Get it started in there. Compress the sleeve. You'll get it part way, and then you've got your extractor plunger in the way. Take your Glock tool and just depress that. And your slide cover will slide on and click. I always like to just make sure that it's locked in there. All right, here's our first little safety check that we can that we can do. You can tell I've already shot this some and didn't clean it up. All right, so our striker should not come through and, and be exposed, right? Okay, I push down on it. It's not coming through because of our safety plunger. So if we press, depress the safety plunger, 
safety you can see that depress the safety plunger now there you can see our striker is exposed pull it back okay it won't go back through all right little safety check there okay so we're done with that go ahead and put the barrel back in go ahead and take our recoil spring put that back in and put our pistol back together and mo better all right i went from having a stock six pound trigger after doing all of this um i'm down to about right at four pound trigger and it is a lot smoother a lot better feeling trigger so there we go now we've got our sights on trigger is done and a lot smoother stay tuned for more on project glock